Hello. So I know I left it on a bit of a cliffhanger with the last post, the SG3109 first soak. So with this is gonna be a quick vid. We're gonna have a, a look at it, see what happens. Did much happen. And then after we've done that, I'm gonna wash them and then we're gonna really see whether or not two years of no washes, no soaks pays off. So I'm gonna crack straight in. Back. I mean, yeah, more pronounced, I'd say. Um, it, the way is slightly annoying me, uh, but it's just the way it is, isn't it? I knew this when I bought them. Um, oh, that reminds me, what I didn't mention before is see that red tab? Everyone says like it's a throwback to Levi's I, and I don't care about Levi's, right? Probably one of the most mainstream jean brands. I don't find them particularly imaginative. The last time I felt they were imaginative was when they did Levi Engineered. If you ever remember them, they were mental. And I thought they'd be a, a staple item in the Levi's um, stable. And then one day they just stopped making them, which is a shame because they were so distinctively different. Anyway, the point is I was making about this is, oh, look, it's a throwback to the Levi's brand, which I don't care about. There's some sort of copyright issue going on. And apparently a lot of the jeans that are using red tabs like this are not going to be able to. So watch this space. I heard that from a well-known retailer of denim, um, which I'll speak on a bit more in a separate video. So here's the backs. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a little zoom in, shall we? There you go. I mean, that's that's... Not only is it fading, but it's like you can see it's wearing down to the stitch. But then if, if you feel this bit, it's thick. You know, there's a, where, where the, where the, uh, that is. So there's that. And then we go back to this. Uh, the backs of the legs are looking pretty good. Now I did post photos, which I will put into the link to Reddit, which by the way is another thing I'm gonna change. I'm gonna post photos from now on, high res taken by my camera to my own website. Um, drives traffic to my website and why should I send them to Reddit? You know, they're big enough as it is. And also it allows me to post very high res photos. So you should get more enjoyable detail. So there's the back. Here's the front of this one. Um, yeah, that is that is going. I don't know if I should get it patched yet. It's not gone through. We discussed this before, but I did. So I'm not gonna go through it again. And then we got the other one. Now, what I was saying was, on Reddit, people were saying, oh, you know, two years, one soak, not, the fades aren't that pronounced for two years, but I, I think what people forgot was it's a soak. I haven't washed them, right? So these, these are yet to be washed, and I think will be more pronounced then. Yeah. Back to one, right, so front. Slightly dirty now, right? probably food. Um, knee again, I'll just look at that again in context there, like that. And then down, not a lot going on here really. I mean, these are slightly, right, so that's that. And yeah, I mean, that is quite pronounced. How pronounced is it? Not pronounced enough, I'd say, right? Is it is it pronounced enough to be considered really good fades? Don't know. I'm repeating myself. They haven't been washed. Let's see what happens when they're washed. They are filthy, right? And you can see there's a sort of darkness difference here. See how, if I, see this has not had as much wear because you know, obviously your knee's not touching it or, or whatever. And yet, so this is quite dark, almost like the original denim. And this is kind of a lot lighter. And I am excited to wash it. And that's another thing that'll be coming is I'll show you a wash video, how I wash my jeans. Um, I'm a bit particular as you can imagine. Whether or not I'm doing it the right way, for instance, I'm not sure if I'm putting the right amount of detergent in, too much or too little. You can tell me, I am no expert. And what do you think, right? What do you think of two years, no washes, no soaks, first soak, would you be pleased? And I also want opinion on this. It ain't cheap getting stuff repaired, right? Black Horse Atelier charges a pretty penny, but that is starting to wear. And although it doesn't seem to be coming loose, look, it's because this stitching has, I, I presume, cross-stitching on the back, right? Which is holding it in, but it is gonna go. And, and that is looking severe, right? It's gonna be my first 
I don't, it's not a blowout, is it? Where? Blowout, where? It's not a blowout, I don't know what it is. So, would you get that repaired? Uh, or would you wait? And if you wait, why would you wait? And if you wouldn't wait, why wouldn't you wait? There you go. Was this worth the effort? Personally, again, as I said, it's a journey and I had fun doing it. Would I do it again though? Well, I'm not gonna say would I do it again, right? I want your opinion. Does this pay off? Does this effort pay off? And do you think, God, this is the model I'm gonna choose of wearing jeans? Or do you think I could not be doing with that? I mean, even that's gone, look. How, how, that has worn it, hasn't it? See? Mad, 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 mad. They should use polyester cotton, shouldn't they? Right, that's it. Next time we check in, I'll be washing these and showing you how I wash them. And then we'll be looking at the fades post-wash. Have a great Christmas. Like and subscribe.